excellent and then tap 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 just lightly so you don't go all over the place planting them by spacing them out picking them up one by one with a tweezer and planting them in spacing it out much better that will save you picking them out later on so i just lightly spray it quite high and then that way you're not dislodging the seed these are 17 days old succulents that are all grown from seeds on this video i'd like to share with you how to grow succulents from seeds hello there my name is liz a self-confessed succulent addict welcome to my channel growing succulents It was never my intention to grow some succulent seeds when I started growing succulents. It's now been five years since I've been growing succulents and I find that taking cuttings and growing succulents from leaves is just taking too long. This is 17 days growth. It is quite fast and I am so excited, so excited that I'd like to show you how to sow some succulent seeds. First of all, I want to make mention that I have a few videos linked below this video in the description box as to the related videos on first you have grown your succulent, you've made it flower, you pollinated it and harvested the seeds and also drying the seeds. So now it's time to sow your seeds. What I have in this box are small pieces of crushed granite. So this crushed granite now, I've actually saved this. So I've got a video on crushed granite, how to process crushed granite. So again, link below the description box on how to do that. So any questions or relevant questions relating to how to grow seeds or what you need will be in the description box. Okay, I'm just gonna start off with that. So I put it at 150 degrees in the oven for about an hour to dry it so this is crushed granite so you end up with these small pieces and now once you because i sieve them first up with the sieve so most of the size of the granite will be about this size which is not good for using in onto i, I will show you later on anyway but what i did is mortar and pistle and i just Sort of crush it you can use sand if you prefer but i haven't tried using sand i only use granite so anyway that way instead of say if i save this you get tiny little bits of grain like sand but now this one the other one see look how sort of coarse that is still now this other one will be much finer. I'm just gonna, oops, because we've crushed it. So now you got more, there you go, powdery stuff, okay? So <laughs> that is much, much finer than the other one. So this is what I need for the seeds later on as a topping. The soil I'm using, this is the soil mix ready that I'm using. This one now, I just, cut to the chase and use a commercially available seed raising mix so don't because different countries will have different seed raising mix but anyway i just grabbed the first seed raising mix i can find that's available so this one is got it's already got added fertilizer to boost seedling growth ideal for seedling tray suitable for vegetables flowers and herbs and this is australian made so anyway there's an instructions as to what to do basically but i don't follow that okay so that's what i'm using first up and also this one this is vermiculite vermiculite is able to hold water because it's got layers so hang on I'm, i gotta get the bigger one here this is like paper layered to get together. I mean, like on top of each other. It's like a sheet. See the tiny little layer there? You can peel it off and it's that gap in between. Oh, look, shiny. This is the same stuff they use for makeup as well. <laughs> Mica. 
okay or vermiculite mica so you got layers like that sheet so if i peel that there'll be a couple more layers in there but anyway there you go so this one because of the arrangement because they're stacked together water is able to get trapped in between the layers your succulent seeds when they have roots or they start growing they have access to water without being wet this big tub now i've got some food containers you know those takeaway containers this one's has already got holes so you'll need a set one with hole the other one's got no hole so this one so we'll put the water here and this one will sit on top of that so basically that's what it is so you get two layers so you need two layers i prefer the transparent one that way i can see how much water is being absorbed by the soil now also this one as well has got two layers or two sections compartments okay now these two compartments are ideal if you want to sow some seeds or grow some seeds two different types so say for example if i want to put an echeveria romeo on one side and i want to do a uh, echeveria ebony on the other side that way i don't mix them up i know specifically i can put a label and say this is romeo and this is an ebony so again put holes as well you can see the hole and of course you need another layer to sit it on also preferably if you can see the distance you don't need a deep container you can have a shallow one the shallow one is better because you don't use up too much soil see like this one here so even this one is only half if you have a look at okay my normal one so these two are sort of the medium size and actually they're the same size just about it's a little bit uh shorter so you can see this one on the right is a bit shorter but uh if it, it takes up a lot of soil so even if you use a shallower container that's still fine we are going to put some holes in this you can use a torch like this which is okay and then you heat up a barbecue this is a metal barbecue skewer you can use the other end rounded end to stir up the soil and the other end you can use it as a poker stick hang on and i am running out of gas okay so you heat it up and perfect timing aren't you <laughs> you run out of gas but doesn't matter i can still show you i should be able to put a hole in one of them there you go yep success or you can do it on the stove so i'm just gonna let it glow baby glow once they're nice and hot i'm gonna turn that off and so i don't burn myself i'm angling my camera over here i'm gonna take the screwdriver and i'm just gonna poke it in there so we got one hole two three four or oops i think i burned myself five six okay that's all so just enough so the water can enter lots of holes for air circulation so this one is basically made up of really very dark matter <laughs> so very dark and so there's nothing in it i can see a little bit of so those white bits there white dots they're like little seeds they're actually the fertilizer so that's how little the fertil fertilizer is in the soil mix so the succulent seeds when you're growing seedlings they don't need much fertilizer so don't put too much fertilizer if you're gonna make up your own mix so this is I think just compost and potting mix very fine see this is probably the biggest bit I found so far in this one but they're very small you can sieve it to get rid of these uh, bigger pieces but I don't bother the proportion I use is I already have this mix here so I'm gonna get my standard container that I use so I'm using First, one part of vermiculite. So this vermiculite here. There you go. Now, nice and full. 
and we'll put it in here. And I need three. Let's put that there so I don't make a mess. Doesn't have to be exact, but roughly that's about it. So I got one, two. This is 750 mils, okay? So that's the size of the container. 750, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it says 750. Okay, so another one, last one. Oopsie, might as well do that. Clean up our vermiculite. Put this out of the way. And three. So one with whole, one without. Now, we're going to mix this all up. Okay, that's nicely mixed up now. So, hang on, put that there. So, this is the mixture we're going to use. Okay, so now we're ready to pot it up or put it in our little container. So now I'll pick the first one and just level it up. Level it just a little bit. We're gonna level it. There you go, level, level, level. Okay, nice and level. Excellent. And then tap, 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 just lightly so you don't go all over the place because we still need some room for our seeds and now there's only a little bit of lip you can see from the edge here from the part there so I get my finger so probably about a quarter of an inch down now I'm gonna put this other one in the bottom so that's one down and the other one I want to do a double one now the double one I'm gonna put it to the level of the partition in the center. As I've stated earlier, you can use a shallower uh, container if you prefer because you don't really need all that much. But for me, this is all the containers I have right now. So I haven't got the shallow ones. If you can get the shallow one, much better because that way you're using less soil because you don't really need. So I'm just tapping around just so excellent now i'm gonna put this other one here and so now we are ready to sow our seeds and what i like to do first up before i put the seeds in is i just need something with the or you just need something with the flat surface in the back and you can use spoons if you like but i just sort of level them all up i have grown my ebony seeds successfully so i am using what's left over uh ebony seeds that i have so this is my 2020 mix so I've actually shown a video on how i gather the seeds and also process them now i'm just getting a bunch here because okay there is still a lot if I could go through, if you can go through your seeds and clean, clean it off much better than I did, then do so. But if not, it doesn't really matter. So whether you have the husk, I call it. So if you have the husk, uh, it's just much better if you just have mainly seeds. But in my case, because I gather the seeds myself, it doesn't really matter with me if I have the husk with it. So I just get a handful. Okay, just a little bit, and I just sprinkle it. So sprinkle. So I'll miss some spots, but it doesn't matter. I'll have some spots that are thick, but it doesn't matter because I can always thin it out. So I'm just trying to keep it within the area. Oopsie, okay. Uh, this is a lot of seeds I'm putting in, by the way, so. If you gather your own seeds, you can afford to do so. But if you have to buy your seeds, then I would suggest uh, planting them by spacing them out, picking them up one by one with a tweezer and planting them in, spacing it out much better. That will... Uh, save you picking them out later on. So, okay, so now the seeds are in. 
The next step is I'm going to get my strainer and I'm going to get a little bit of the sand. This, oops, okay, I put too much, but anyway, on that section there, but it doesn't matter. So this is just to cover the seeds lightly with this sand. That way, when you water it from the top later on, if you need to water it from the top, then that sort of keep the seeds uh, in place. It doesn't move around. Okay, probably I need a little bit more. Just put it on top of that to just disperse it much better. And so now, watering wise, all I do is I lift this up. I'll put some water on my container. Oopsie, okay. Halfway. And then we're going to take our seeds and put it here. And it's floating around, but I'm going to quickly move this camera and then that way you can see oh, that the soil is absorbing that water there. there go. So you can see the level. So now all the way around the water has reached up to here. Now if uh, I need to have the water sort of sitting just on top so I'm going to add a little bit more water. I hope you'll find this video useful. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for if you want future updates that is. But if not, doesn't matter. You can just watch the video and come back to my channel and watch the videos. Just if you're subscribed, you get notified when I do have a um, video upload, okay, I'm just slowly. And then now, okay, the soil has absorbed the water. And now it's, I can see sort of on the top, some spots now are getting wet. So I don't know, you can tell, but in here I can tell that that's already wet. And that one there, there's still dry patch here, but that one's getting wet and getting wet. And then now that it's got that, and if I lift this up, there's still a little bit of water in there and I like to leave it there and now put a lid on this one. Now, there we go, close it off and I will put this somewhere where it's warm and near a window and in my case I've got a grow light so I keep it inside the grow light and I will keep the lid closed for the next Four days and four days later I'm gonna go and check to see if there's any progress and if there's some seeds growing depends on the condition and what it looks like if it have little fungus growing then you're best removing the lid to air it out and put it back again at night time to encourage seed germination once the seeds germinate then it's just a matter of checking it every day every day I know it's a bit tedious but it's actually quite fun checking it every day just to see if there's new growth or none and also if there's fungus or mold or uh, any uh, not so good looking stuff that's sort of growing on it remove the lid and air it out and put it back again the next day until they all grow. So I'm going to keep you updated as to the progress of the rest of my succulent seeds that I've sown earlier. And also there's already a few videos I've mentioned earlier on the first part of this video is that go check below this video in the description box for other relevant videos. Also, don't forget your label, because I forgot my label, <laughs> nearly, <laughs> because we're doing this video. So, we're going to put this one on the side, and then now, I should have put the label first up, because now I am dragging a couple of the seeds that's on the edges, but doesn't matter. I got plenty. There you go. That's it. I've already pricked out some of my ebony last night, 
So this is not my yellow ebony container. The yellow ebony and the pink champagne did not grow. So I just used the same container to put all the other ebonies I've thinned out from the side in the bottom there. And on this tray here, there's at least a hundred ebony that I put in here now. So they are growing. Look, look how they're getting bigger, getting bigger. Check that out. My lavender pebbles. I've got 50 lavender pebbles in this tray. And so far, look, check out that one. It's got four leaves now. See, look, there's in that one too. They're growing. They're growing. Also, I'm going to go back to the tray that we just sown. I'm not going to water that or it doesn't get watered. That's all I do in watering it. If it dries out, then I put some more water in the bottom. And then that way, let the soil absorb the water from the bottom up. So I never water on the top. Not until I have germination taking place like this one's here. So I just spray them with a light misting and spraying. Otherwise, I still do the same thing. So this one now, the lavender pebbles. So only do this when they are grown. So I just lightly spray it quite high. And then that way you're not dislodging the seeds. Or I'm not dislodging the seeds. There you go. That's it. I'll see you on the next video.